We're also following breaking news from Hampton this midday. A father who's facing separate child neglect charges in the case after his four year old went missing is in court today on a bond hearing. Now he is going to stay in jail. It's been almost six months since police started looking for four year old Cody, Cody Bigsby. Hampton police charged his father, Corey, with felony child neglect charges. Again, not connected to his son's disappearance. Tenant Your Science Kiana Patterson is live outside the Hampton courthouse with details on on this morning's decision. Kiana. Yes, a judge denied another request for a bond hearing for Corey Bigsby. This makes the fourth request regarding a bond hearing since we have been covering this case. Now, Bigsby is facing seven counts of felony child neglect for leaving his young children at home alone, but his four year old Cody Bigsby is still missing and we are still working to find out where he is months after his dad reported him missing from their home in Hampton. Now in court today, his new judge Amina Matheny Willard told a judge that Bigsby should have bond because his relationship with the last attorney that represented him was strained and ineffective. Therefore, his previous bond hearings are also ineffective. Now, she also referenced the Hampton Police Department, and they also said that she also said that the police department is painting Corey as a person of interest in his son's disappearance, but she says that that is not correct. And to prove her argument, she referenced three conversations with Bigsby's former attorney, Jeffrey Ambrose. Bigsby describes those conversations as adversarial, and the Commonwealth did argue against that in court this morning. They said that they did not present any new evidence. They just speculation on what happened between Bigsby and his former attorney Ambrose. And a judge had the final say ruling against that bond hearing, saying those new allegations are just not strong enough to grant him a bond. They also referenced that there will be a preliminary hearing next Monday, and that's where they can discuss the case more in depth. Now, Bigsby's attorney gave a lengthy interview after the court um, court hearing early this morning. We'll have that posted for you over on wavy.com. And we also spoke with some people here that show up to these hearings every time. They say they still want to know where Cody Bigsby is. They call themselves Team Cody. And I'll have an interview from them a little later today at 430 on Wavy News 10. In Hampton, Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.